Hi, my name's Stuart Morgan and I've been using the Panasonic S1 and S1H cameras pretty much since launch. I must admit I've been really impressed with the image quality and the features these cameras offer. Now of course many of us are in lockdown at the moment due to the dreadful coronavirus. In fact that's the reason I'm filming this in my garden on this beautiful sunny afternoon. But I'm sure that most of you out there have actually seen the news that Panasonic and Atomos are shortly due to release the firmware upgrade which opens up the opportunity to film ProRes RAW 5.9K on the Beatomos Ninja 5 and the Panasonic S1H. Back in the end of February, early March, I was fortunate enough to be involved with the production of a film called Night Shift, which was a promotional film shot on the S1H camera with a BTS film shot with the S1. On the very final evening of the shoot, we got a phone call from Panasonic and from Atomos saying that we were just about to be sent the pre-release firmware to enable the cameras to shoot 5.9K ProRes RAW on the Ninja 5 recorders. So the plan was just to get a few shots as best as we could before the end of the shoot and then the cameras would be returned to Panasonic. I believe they were destined to go to the photography show and NAB etc etc to demonstrate the RAW. Now with all the photography shows and the exhibitions now on hold, Panasonic were kind enough to let me take the camera on a trip that I had planned to Antigua in the Caribbean. So middle of the day, bright highlights, dark shadows, really good test to see how the RAW stacks up. I quickly found a method of exposing on the Ninja 5 which I really liked and I gelled with and that involved putting the Ninja 5 into PQ mode for monitoring, opening up the camera until I saw it clip and then pull back a few stops. I didn't have a laptop or any means of reviewing the footage out there so it was all on the, on the screen on the Ninja and I wouldn't really know how successful it was going to be until I got back home. Two things that impressed me most about the raw footage when I got back to the UK was the ease of playback in the Final Cut Pro timeline, no drop frames, and the machine I was using was only a 2015 MacBook Pro, so that was a good start. But the most amazing thing was the resolution and the detail in the image. Now, of course, the idea of this wasn't to shoot some cinematic masterpiece. I really wanted to see what detail was held up in the image. From this next shot of a gecko, you can see that initially it looks overexposed, which it would be if I was working in Rec. 709. But with raw HDR footage, there is a huge latitude in the highlight recovery, which you can see here in the finished shot. So I'm really pleased to say that my experience with the camera whilst filming Antigua, albeit limited, was really good. And I really think that the addition of ProRes RAW is going to be a massive uplift for the S1H and the Ninja 5 combination. And I think that it's going to allow people to get the best out of this camera. <laughs> 